So you have spent a lot of time learning uh, coding or let's say uh, machine learning stuff and you have lots of models sitting in your laptop, your personal laptop. And you want to show this work to the world. You want to show it to your recruiters, you want to show it to your hiring manager. So you might be wondering, how can I do that? So there are several techniques. So in this video, I will uh, show you the one, one most uh, famous, famous technique. Hi, my name is Chris and thanks for stopping by. So one of the famous techniques is um, GitHub. So in this video, what I'll do is I'll show you how to create a GitHub profile. And once you have the profile, how to create a GitHub repository. Like you can, name, you can have multiple repository. And then how can I actually push my file, like I'll push all my code into my GitHub repository where, where it's visible to all the people, like all, all the world. So all the, you know, the recruiters or hiring manager who can actually go there and see, our, see your code. So let's get it started. Okay, so first thing you want to, we want to do is, um, what you want to do is create a GitHub account. So all you have to do is just go here, sign up, and then put in all your informations. You can use um, any, um, any of your accounts, so it should work. And then, uh, so I'm not going to do this because I already, have, I already have my account. So I'm going straight into my sign in. And then once you create an account, it brings you to this, um, this page. And all you have to do is type in your email, and your password, All right? So you are in the GitHub account now, GitHub page. And since we're creating a new repository, so what I usually go is um, I go to my, you can go straight into new here, that's no problem too. So I just go to my uh, account repository. So I have a bunch of things in here and then click on new. That's all right, so new. So the project that I want to um, uh, upload here, create a repository, and then upload is called the market. So I'll just name it as a uh, market, M A R K D market, and um, campaign C A M P A I G and market campaign. All right. So that's your repository name, and then um, you want to click this add a readme file, and then create account. I mean, create repository. So your repository is ready. Great. So now let's go back to our desktop. So we're here. So I want to create new folder in my desktop where I will upload all the notebooks and then I'm gonna push that file back into uh, GitHub. So let's just make one folder call, uh, make, let's make folder call campaign, M-K-D, M-K-D-I-R. Let's name it C-A-M-P-A-I-G-N campaign, I guess. I hope I pronounce it correctly, C-A-M-P-A-I-G-N. C-A-M-P-A-I-G-N, okay? Hit enter, and you see that campion folder is created. Great, so now I want to change my directory to this folder. So to do that, CD, just drag and drop here, this folder, run, so I'm here. Now I want to clone my GitHub repository into this folder. So I'm gonna go back to my uh, GitHub. Here you can see this uh, little icon, click here, and then this is your uh, link. So copy this, because I want to clone this now go back to your uh, terminal and then type in, uh, the command is git clone, clone, git clone and copy and paste there. Great, so you just clone uh, your repository. Now, if you go back to this folder back again, you can either double click here, it, it automatically creates a new folder that's, that's the same name as whatever you have uh, name for your GitHub repository, okay? So you can either go to that open that folder or you can also do uh, ls and you will see the new folder so now I, I have to go inside this folder so what i'm going to do is cd market m-a-r-k-t market score c-a-m-p-a-i-g and campaign so i'm inside that folder now so right now i don't have anything inside this folder so i'm going to go into i went inside this folder and let me create um uh, two different folder one for one for um one for my data and another one for my notebooks, right? So let's do, uh, M, let's go back here, mkdir, let me call this folder a data. No, before that, let me, uh, let me add this folder to my, because you have to do this before you actually do that, uh, to actually put, create a new folder. So let me just add this to my GitHub. So to do that, git, git add space doc, and then commit did git, Meet das m, and then just name that as initial i n h n initial p s push right. 
error. Um, uh, maybe I put the space in there. So get co mmid commit dash dash m initial push. Okay, so your branch is ready to go. Nothing to commit, right? So now let me create a new folder here inside this campaign called data. So mkdir, let me name this data. See, the new folder just created inside this campaign. Now I want to add my data inside the data folder, and then I will add notebook inside notebook folder, which I'm going to create afterwards. So first, um, well, let's just create now. So inside that, let's also create, let's create another folder called notebook, right? Python code. So I'll just say mkdir, uh, and it's let me call this uh, notebook nbr n o t e b o notebook. All right, another folder is created now. So inside this, the data folder, I want to I want to upload all my data. So I'm going to go inside here, and then uh, the file that I want is uh, this market data. So copy and paste there, right? And then uh, inside the notebook folder, I want uh, I want to put my notebook. Copy these, and uh, let me make sure I'm inside the notebook folder, and then paste it. Awesome. So everything looks good. Now close this out. Now let's uh, let's add whatever we just added here. Let's add it to GitHub. So to do that, and the next command is again git get add space dot. All right. So once you add, now you have to commit. So get c o m m i commit dash m. Uh, let's uh, let me just say what uh, data and and b added a d d added. Okay. So two files added. So one is an Excel file, and another one is a, um, uh, another one is a uh, Jupyter notebook file, and it has this many lines. Looks like okay, great. So this looks good. Now the next thing is now I have to push this, right? So it's still not in the GitHub. So until you make a push, you don't, it's not going to show up in your GitHub account. So the next thing is um, git push, and then you have to do u, and then origin main o r i g n origin m a i n main. Let me make sure because um, I always get Confused on this part. Um, uh, yeah, uh, get push u origin main main because main is where we're working on. I'll show you when we get to the GitHub's now. Then then hit enter. So look at that. So it's uh, it's it's pushing. It's uh, sending all the file from my local machine into a GitHub. So looks like it's done. So it looks good. So let's go back to my GitHub and see all the changes that I have made. So if I open this folder again. The campaign. Look at that. The data is here, right? So you can open these or download whatever you want, and then you go and go back to your notebooks, and you see the notebook. That is pretty cool, right? So our file. So what we push all our work that's sitting in our machine into the GitHub account that everybody can see it. Now the recruiters or hiring manager, if they want to go down here and look at all my work, everything that I did in Python here, then it's available there. So this is one of the great way to publish your work, to make your work and um, to show your work to the world. So yeah, so to wrap it up in conclusion, so all you have to do is first create a GitHub account. And then once you have the account ready, go to your repository, create a new repository, right? And once you have the repository ready, um, uh, come back to your uh, machine, create a folder, name it any folder, whatever folder you want to push. And then inside, and then, um, and then uh, clone your repository into that folder, and once you clone it, it's going to create um, it's going to create a new folder, and then inside that you can create whatever folder you want, and then at finals just make commit and push, and it's all there. Great. So that's all I got. Hopefully that helps you guys a lot, and um, I appreciate it. I appreciate you watching, and good luck. And then if you have any comments or if you have any issues, just put me put the comment in the comment sections, and maybe I can try to help you.